What up guys and welcome back to my channel. So I feel like it's been quite a while since I sat down on this sofa and filmed. The last few videos have just been Japan vlogs and a haul and I don't even know what I posted before then but I'm coming at you guys today with a what's on my Y P20 Pro and yes I have a P20 Pro, not a P30. I don't want to see no comments talking about that phone's old. Get a P30, get this, get that, telling me what phone to get. Listen, if you know what's going on with Huawei, and if you don't, I'll leave it below so you can check it out. Everyone's heard the news about Huawei and America and Google and security problems. So I'm leaving it below if you don't know what I'm talking about. But basically, Huawei sales have dropped. I read that they dropped 40%. I read this a few weeks ago. I don't know if that was in total, in a certain part of the world, I'm not really sure. But what I know is that Huawei sales have dropped and ain't nobody trying to buy Huawei's right now. So, with that being said, I wanted to sell this phone anyway. And let me tell you, in London, everyone has a fucking iPhone. And if not, they have a Samsung. And then if they don't have that, then wow, that's very mad because like most people have iPhones and Samsungs. I have seen some Huawei's about, but it's just not as popular. So, I'm probably gonna get like three pound for this so I'm not trying to sell this phone right now and it's like worth nothing that's rude this phone I've kept it in pristine condition it's perfect it still works fine it's super fast super responsive so I don't want to sell it for nothing so I'm not in a rush to sell this phone because I was going to use the money from selling this phone to put towards a like one plus seven or something like that but if I'm not getting much for this phone then I'm just gonna wait because it's just not worth the money so if anyone's trying to tell me what phone to get, you can buy it for me or just wait and see what happens because obviously my everyday phone, my daily driver, my main phone, my personal phone is my iPhone XS Max, which I love, I adore. I don't know why I'm so happy with it. I just really like it. Um, so yeah, I ain't trying to be spending a lot of money on replacing this phone when I'm trying to go on holiday. I'm trying to live my best life, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, just letting you guys know, I know it's not the newest phone right now, but listen, I came off Nova Launcher, I put a cute new theme on and I wanted to show you guys. And I'm sure there are people out there with this phone. I still really like it, I just, you know, who doesn't love new phones every two months? I do. So anyway, let's get into this phone. So you guys have seen this case before. It's my pink, well, I guess like a dusty kind of pink. Um, Huawei silicone case and I've glued this pop socket on because it wouldn't stick so this is my opal pop socket which I really like I think it's so pretty and then because my wallpaper is pink I don't know if it's just me that likes it like this because my wallpaper is pink I find it goes really nicely I like seeing the pink with the pink aesthetic goals but the other case that I've been using let me put it on so you can see what it looks like is my little greyhound case I love greyhounds, I love dogs, so I like this case. It's really thin as well, so it's easy to carry around, it's easy to put in my pocket, put in my bag, depending on what bag I'm using. So I always find with silicone cases, like they, when you try and put them in your pocket, they're like, mm -mm -mm -mm. and I always get like bits of fluff and dust stuck on. So depending what mood I'm in, depending what I'm doing, depends what phone case I use. So I thought I'd show you guys the two phone cases. I still got my always on display, love that. And then I look at my fingerprint and then let's commence this screen record. Okay, so, so I'm just going to pop that in the corner. So this is my home screen. As you can see, I got Sailor Moon playing a Game Boy and it is the cutest wallpaper ever. These icons is a theme pack, which I'll show you in a minute when I get to settings. Basically, I got rid of Nova Launcher. I'm just using the set launcher that they give you on the phone and I'm really enjoying it. Although I did like Nova Launcher, I just fancied a change and I spent one evening literally just moving all my apps and setting a new theme and it was a fun time i'm a lot more i don't want to say i'm like super experimental because some people this might be really like plain still but i like to like change themes around when it's not my main phone i'm more willing to try different things with my work phone than my main phone it's just me i'm weird so first things first top left we have the time but the day under there and then on the right we've got the weather so it's very warm today um, I mean it's June, we are in summer, so not to be surprising. Underneath that I have my calendar, so as this is my work phone, I don't have everything that I have on my personal phone on here. But I really like how the calendar widget looks, so as you can see there's nothing popping off today. Tomorrow we've got some battle, which is Northern Ireland, which doesn't even concern me, but it's nice because it can show you guys what it looks like when you have a little thing planned. So it's good, you won't forget any meetings, you won't forget to do anything, go shopping, do some washing, whatever it is you need to do. I really like how that looks, it looks fresh, clean, organised. So we'll start on the left first because it's literally just my calendar. So I have my calendar, I've got literally nothing in there um, because this is my work phone 
and there's not really much to report because I use Famcal. Um, but also I'm actually closing my business. So I was planning to do a YouTube video talking about like what it was like running a business, what happened, story time kind of thing. Um, my experience with running a business, do I have any regrets, things like that. So let me know if you guys would be interested in that because I had a business for five years and I'm closing it now. So yeah, I was thinking to do that. Let me know your thoughts. So at the bottom, I've got Dialer, Contacts, Notepad, Messages and Play Store. And then underneath my calendar, I've got YouTube, the goat, Chrome, which is what I always use. I've got Gallery and then I've added a social folder. And I don't know if this is like annoying you because I haven't made everything in there pink. So obviously you can see like the greens and the blue and the yellow. So... I don't know. To me, I don't really mind, but I can see why it would annoy you because it's not as clean. So in social, I've got Instagram. Follow me at WonderRizzy. I've got WhatsApp, which is what I use to talk to all my friends. Um, I've got Snapchat. I don't really post on there too much, but I like the filters. I've got Twitter. Follow me at WonderRizzy. Um, I just retweet a lot of random stuff and I post random stuff as well. Um, I've got Line which I don't really use anymore. Facebook, which is like what I have for my friends and family. And then the other thing that's not in there, which I do have is TikTok. So I recently downloaded TikTok. I think I've got like one or two videos, um, but that's that wonder is as well. If you use TikTok, follow me there. And then obviously my camera. So if we do a little swipe, this is all my apps here. So obviously I've got different apps on my personal phone than here. So the first folder I have is work and I've just got email, Blue mail, which is my emails again. Spare room, which you can advertise room to rent. You can find rooms to rent if you're in London, you're looking for a room or a one bed or a studio, check out spare room. And then FabCal, so that's the calendar app which you can download and then your partner or your friend or whoever, your mom can download and then you can both add stuff in there. So I know you can obviously do that with other calendars, but I like FabCal because you can add like notes and contacts and stuff. So it's good for work. And then in themes, I've got Nova Launcher, which I'm not currently using. And I don't know, I think I paid for that. I think I might've paid a few pounds for that. I'm not too sure. And then I got themes. Uh, so if we click on themes, the one that I'm currently using is that one on the bottom right. So these are all my themes I have. I might try something different because the top left one is really cute. Guess the song, but I don't ever listen to songs on here. So maybe I'll try something new, but I do really like this theme. Oh, and I wanted to show you. So when you click on Dialer, this is what it looks like. So it's really pretty. I really like it. So back to themes. Uh, we've got Tesla and red. We have the clock widget, which I'm not currently using. Superheroes wallpaper. This app was my thing. Like I always downloaded some cute apps, but it just doesn't work anymore. So I'm just gonna install it right now because you try and open it and it just doesn't work. So I don't know, they must have removed it. And a few people have messaged me saying that they were looking for this Wonder Woman wallpaper that I used to have on my S8 Plus. And that was the app I got it from and they can't find it. Well, I have it on here. If you want it, let me know. Maybe I'll tweet it and then send you guys the link, so. Yeah, unfortunately that app doesn't work no more, which is sad because it was a good app. Um, I've got phone manager, I've got weekons, I've got launcher theme, which I don't use. Um, I've got wallpapers, I've got Zwart, which just makes all your um, icons black. I've got you launcher light and that's it. So in my next folder in life, I've got health, which I never use. I've got the Holy Bible, which I tried to use, not gonna lie. I used it for so long and then I stopped. So basically you can just, you can get notifications as well, which is really nice. Mine, know, mine come every day at like 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, but it's just, they have like verse of the day and it's literally the whole Bible. So you can go through, you can read certain parts or you can read the whole thing, do what you want, but it's, it's really nice to have. Um, daily horoscope tells you your horoscope. I'm a cancer. So yeah, I come on here every now and then to see what's going on. Um, so obviously, as I said, I was, I closed my business. So when I was reading some of them, it was like, there's a new change in your life. Da -da -da, and I was like, oh my God, they're right. So let me know what horoscope you guys are. And if you think it's a little bullshit or if you like reading it, I wouldn't say it's like true, but sometimes I'm like, oh, makes me feel better. <laughs> Uh, day one, which is like a journal app. I don't really use it. Jehovah Witness Library. Headspace is good for like anxiety, um, but I haven't been using it. Oh, sorry, I got hay fever. My nose is running. So Lingo Dear, you can learn languages, but mm, I suck at that. 
I always, no matter what, even on Duolingo, whatever, I'll do it for like a few weeks and I always fall off. So, yep, no new languages for me. And then Peak is a brain training game. And then Google Translate, Google Translate. And then goal meter, you can put like to-do lists, you can put if you want to go, so let's say you want to go on holiday and it's a thousand pounds, you put that in and then you might want to put how much you can save every week and then I'll tell you how long you need to get there and you can like update how much money you've saved. It's good. I tried to use it and then I stopped. Happy Cow, it tells you all the vegan, vegetarian, whatever restaurants in the area. So if you're a vegan or a veg, download it. And photos, I've got You Can Makeup, which I use sometimes to, you know, fix my face or whatever. I've got Visco Cam, which again, I u I mainly use that one to like, I think it's this one I use, to whiten the background. Like you see this wall, it's like a creamy kind of, it looks disgusting in this light, but it's like a creamy colour. So if I take a selfie, I might make it white, so whatever. Um, collage make is just collages. Facetune, you can edit your face, but I don't have the paid version, so it can't do much. And then Unum, you can plan your face, Facebook, you can plan your Instagram. So you can post pictures and just see if it looks nice with your theme or what it's going to look like. Music, I've just got video, music, Apple Music, Shazam, I don't use any of those on this phone. Um, settings, we have a lot of fun in settings. <laughs> and then we've got other, so I've got tags. This is my favourite hashtag app. If you know a good hashtag app for iPhone, please tell me. Because this one I can't get on my iPhone, it's the best one ever. So you go on, uh, I always say no. You type in something, so let's say, I don't know, holiday. Then you select, and then you just copy, and then you paste it, and it's easy peasy. I've got unfollow to see who's unfollowed me on Instagram. I've got listonic, which is what I use to do my little shopping list sometimes. I've got calendar, and then I've got my clock, calendar again. I've got three, which is my mobile provider. I've got bitmoji, um, and I've got unfollow Twitter. And then I've got Dropbox which I use to send stuff sometimes. I've got Pinterest, which is my favorite app in the world. I'm always just on here searching stuff. Look, it's Bay. That dress is really pretty. Look, Kakashi is my Bay. He's Bay. That took me so long to figure out what I need to put that in. So my name on Pinterest is Wonder Izzy and I've got all kinds of boards. I want to add some more because I feel like I don't have that many um, But my wallpaper one there's some cute. Oh see look there's my wallpaper right there So yeah, if you want my wallpaper, it's there and I love this one so much. I think it's so pretty um, I think I'm using that on my iPad actually. I've started to use my iPad for the first time in like a good few months um, I kind of stopped using it because like, I'd always be on, I'd always be on my laptop so now I've started using it again and it's fun. I like watching my little Netflix shows because I keep going to my mum's and my laptop's quite heavy to so take on the tube and the train and my heavy bag. So I've started using my iPad again and it's a fun time. I'm glad I didn't sell it. But I was thinking maybe selling it and getting a mini, but I'm not sure. I've got the iPad Air 2 for anyone that doesn't know. Um, Buzzfeed, I do hella quizzes on there. I did a quiz, which Sailor Moon character are you? And I got Sailor Moon, so that was cute. Um, and I also did a quiz, I don't know if it was Buzzfeed or somewhere else, and it was like, which anime character are you gonna marry? And it was Levi from Attack on Titan, so yeah, you're all invited to my wedding, come through, bitch, come to my wedding. Um, and if you're watching Attack on Titan, let me know down below who's your favorite character. I like Mikasa and I like Levi because he's a bae. Um, but yeah, the next season is actually going to be the last, so I'm quite upset about that. But yeah, let me know what animes you guys have been watching. I just finished One Punch Man and Attack on Titan, and I've started watching Tokyo Ghoul. And yeah, that's it. And then Change, um, I signed petitions on there. Uh, Sky Sports Football gives you scores. I work Saturday, so sometimes I want to see what the score is, you know how it be. In Travel, I've got Train, Train Line, that's what I need to check when I'm going to my mum, see what time my train is. Am I late? Usually. EasyJet, because we fly a lot with EasyJet, so it's just easy to have the app on there. Bus times, because I get the bus to work. TFL Oyster, it's so easy to track your oyster. You know sometimes you're thinking like, do I have money on my oyster or not? Just check, just get the app. And then City Mapper plans your route, and I don't really use that, but I don't know, apparently people like it. I use it a few times, I just use Google Maps. So in shopping, I've got eBay, I love eBay, Amazon, love Amazon, we have Prime, so it's just, it's great, but I try not, I try not to spend money. Wish, you get like really cheap random shit on there, 
um, delivery of food, Depop, secondhand stuff. Check it out. I'm looking for some like feelers or something. Um, so yeah, keep my eye on Depop. Groupon, I get some good deals on there. If you want to go on holiday for like a little city break for a few days, Groupon is your place. Um, uni days, you get discounts and I steal people's codes. So if you're a student and you don't have uni days, what are you doing? Etsy. Oh, I got some really cute journaling paper from Etsy, um, like last week. Um, uh, some people asked me to do a journal video, but we'll see. My journal's not cute, you know, I just like scribble in it, so we'll see about that. I've got sneakers, just tells you what's coming out, and I'm not clicking on it because I'm going to want to buy stuff. Um, in monies, I've got Barclays, and they've changed their little logo because it was Pride, and PayPal. And I downloaded Monzo, but I don't know. Do you guys use it? Let me know if you do, if I should get it. I don't know yet. And then in Google, I just have like hella Google stuff, which no one cares about. In YouTube, I've got subscriber account. It tells you your subscribers. And then YouTube Studio, you can reply to comments. It's easier because sometimes I find that the YouTube app itself, even that, you know, sometimes comments don't come through. So, And then Outlook, that's my wonder, is email. Brand ambassador, you can make an account and then you can contact other companies or they can contact you about like promoting their, you know, being a brand ambassador. And I haven't actually used it, so maybe I should. Like, I haven't really, I, I logged on and I had a look around, but maybe I should try and use it. And then I've got AdSense, which tells you how much money you're making on YouTube. So, games, I have not too many on here. Obviously, most of my games are on my everyday phone. Um, I've got Parking Mania, so you park cars. I've got HQ Trivia, which I haven't played in a long time, but it's like a like a game show kind of thing. I don't know, it's not. It's like a quiz kind of game, and then you can, like it's real time, it's live, and then you can answer and win money. Uh, Pokemon Go, I just started playing that again, because I got Pokestop right outside my house. Poke Pokemon. <laughs> Animal Crossing Pocket Camp, download it right now. If you don't have it, download it. And if you are playing it, but you've stopped, whatever, go back on it, because they're doing a Sanrio update. And you can buy Hello Kitty cute clothes, and Cinema Roll clothes, and it's really cute. So, download it. And then add to me, I'll leave my code below. Uh, Marvel Future Fight, I haven't played that in a long time, but they have a Spider-Man update with like Mysterio and that. So, if you've seen Spider-Man, Far From Home, let me know your thoughts on it. Uh, play games, we don't know, play whatever. Need for Speed, No Limits, I don't really play that. Game Suite, I've got Tamagotchi. Listen, I remember when I was a kid and Tamagotchi was a huge thing. I miss Tamagotchi. I miss the real ones. And I was going to buy one actually. I saw one the other day in Debenhams. Well, the other day. I saw one at like Christmas in Debenhams. And I should have bought it. It was only £10 and I didn't. It's not the same on here, let me tell you. So I've got Twitch and I really want to do some gaming video, gaming videos. I just haven't got around to it. So add me on Twitch for when I do do it. Um, Cash Inc. You base, it's just like one of them clicking games where you like collect money all the time and it's fun. Um, Candy Crush Friends. I literally got to like level 4 and I stopped playing it. Because on my iPad I'm like level 700. Um, so I thought, let me download it on my phone, so if I'm on the tube, I can play it, but I don't really play it at all. Fitness, I've got gym workout, I've got pure gym, and I've got my fitness pal to track the macros, track the calories. And I have a strange relationship with my fitness pal. I'm either really on it, or I'm just, I'm completely off. And then in tools, i just got a lot of crap that no one really cares about. And i got the last three apps, which aren't in any folder. Lucky Day, you can only get this on Android, I think, because... I tried to find it on my iPhone and I couldn't find it. It's like a scratch card app. So, I'll show you. You click on it. Imagine I won really big and you guys were here with me. And then you just scratch. And then you can win money. I've, I haven't won anything big yet. I've got fucking $2 in my account. I'll claim that. Okay. So you can win money or you get all these coins and then you spend the coins on gift cards. So I have 900,000 coins. So if I get, let's say, 3 million coins, I get a £2 Amazon gift card. And I know it doesn't sound like a lot because it takes me a long time to get here. But if you're, like, on the tube anyway and you don't really do anything on the tube, or if you're watching TV and you're bored, like, just download this app and just do this. Because you can win free money. You never... Oh, look, I just got 10,000 coins. I really want to win some big money. <laughs> I'm waiting. They do, like, little lotteries. Uh, it's free, by the way. You don't have to play it. And they didn't sponsor me either. But, um... It's free, you don't have to play, you don't have to pay to play the game. So, 
it's not it's not a problem look do the lottery i just pick some random numbers looking up a 50 and then yeah so yeah you just get like five or six something free um scratches and i just do it every day when i'm chilling waiting for something if i'm waiting for my food to cook watching tv in the evening whatever then it's up to you it's called lucky day if you want it download it let me know if you win as i said not sponsored my boyfriend told me about it another one that i saw being advertised is called cash alarm um i haven't actually tried that so i don't really know what it is but this one i think it said you get paid to play games but look i haven't even yeah i haven't logged in yet so we'll see how that goes but i don't know what you guys think about these kind of things i think it's just like you hardly win anything like the time it takes to win something is not worth it but i don't know i just feel like if you're at home you might as well just do that get you might get lucky you never know and then the final app is my screen recorder which is what i'm using to record this screen right here so yeah that's everything on my phone i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up comment like subscribe whatever and let me know what phone you guys are using because i want to know any video ideas leave below i need to steal my boyfriend's phone and do a what's on the samsung s10 plus and yeah i will see you guys in the next video peace